Hi guys, it's me Gretchen and I'm going to tour you to my small kitchen. It's been cleaned and organized. Hopefully I will give you some motivation and inspiration on how I did this kitchen. First is this cabinet right here. I store my plates and bowls and glasses and cups. I don't have a lot yet. So that's that. And the second one is right here where I store my snacks and cereal. Um, this ba um, bucket is from Dollar Tree is for a dollar and that rack right there is from Dollar Tree as well is for a dollar. I'm going to store some instant noodles in them and here's another two cabinets right there and another rack right there. So yes, that's what I did in order for it to be neat and clean. That's why I bought these baskets. That's what the purpose to make it organized. So for the cereal, I actually wanted to store it in a little, um, in a little uh, cylinder canister. So I haven't found one yet. So hopefully I'll find online. And that's that. And here is the bottom cabinet. Is just where I store my my big um, dish, and I store my Tupperwares there, the rubber made. And I got this. Um, basket from the Dollar Tree as well. It's for a dollar. I just store my lids in them so it won't go anywhere else. And this, I'm not going to show you. I'll show you for the next because it's not completely organized yet. This is where I, um, yeah, I'll leave it. And this one is where I put my silverwares. This um, um, organizer are from Dollar Tree as well. It's for a dollar. And I also put a, um, a liner. All the cabinet bottom has been lined with this stuff right here. It's from the Dollar Tree. And here's another one. I just store my placemats. And another basket for some dish towel. And here is my wraps. I added some ca um, basket as well. And it's from the Dollar Tree also. And here's the last one. I stored another basket, small basket there to store something. And here is my glad, um, um, glad trash bags. So let's move to the next one. Is right here is a spiced um, cabinet where I store my spices in this bottom shelf. And for the top shelf is where I'm going to store some extras like flour sugar or anything and i'm missing another basket there i still need to purchase for more and yes and for my spices i actually wanted it in a small plus i mean glass container which i haven't bought any yet so uh, yes i'm going to purchase some but as of right now i just store it in this little basket i actually got this from goodwill for 88 cents right there so yes, I actually washed them before I speak. Everything I did, I everything has been washed and clean, okay? And for this one right here, I have three shelves. So yes, uh, the first one right there is um, jars. I'm going to store some sweet rice in them. And this one is a sweet flour, sweet rice flour. And that basket is full of pastas and rice noodles. And on this second shelf is a basket full of canned goods, peanut butter, and chocolate, hazelnut chocolate spread or something. And these jars, actually these jars are from the pasta sauce. So I just save them and clean them real good so I can store something in them. So yes, that's what you need to do is to save those jars, uh, pasta jars. And then the next, the last one is where I store my coffee, chocolate um, powder, and then some teas. These jars are from Goodwill as well for $2. So yeah, check them out because they can be very expensive if you go to Walmart or Target. So check your Goodwill store first. I got these two for $2 each. And then this one is my coffee. I, and if you buy this kind of coffee, instant coffee, save that jar because they are so neat. They're so nice. And the Nescafe coffee have a different style of jar or different, yeah. And it's, which is this one right here. I actually need to purchase more of this because I, the 
the style of the jar is actually way better than this one so yes and that's that and on this cabinet right here is where i store my toaster my extra rice cooker another dish rack i mean a uh, dish rack like a plate big plate um here is where i store my pots and pans i don't have a lot because we always move around so i don't want to buy a lot of stuff where it will just go to waste again if you know but anyway so i bought another basket here from the dollar tree and i just stored them with some lids from the pots so that's that this is all my cabinet spaces i don't have a lot and i have some right here which i just store some uh what do you call it like a look the crock pot this is where crock pot goes so yeah and here this one right here is a bookshelf that i got from goodwill because i don't have a pantry in this house so so what better to do is just buy a bookshelf and just turn it into a little small pantry thingy so yeah this i these three jars i got them from target which the big one is about 13 dollars i believe so yeah that's for the rice it can i think i believe it can hold up to 20 pounds of rice or a little bit less and then this one i store an oatmeal and then this one a flour because all this stuff right here used to be in this rack and it was a hot mess so i was like i need to do something about this one you know and my husband always say oh you have to get this done fix it okay i said okay so we went to target and saw this big jars in them it's very pretty actually so if you're on an investment invest on this one for your rice it's amazing i loved it and then right here is a little basket from dollar tree is for a dollar so which i store my onions potatoes and then another onion so yes and and then on the top i just put a display here with this this is very very nice it's very heavy guys so yes i Try, I like I like it there actually it's like a decoration as well so yes yeah, so that's this is what I did on my pantry stuff and this too has to go away so as of right now I just store it right there for some juice for my kids but that actually will go away so yeah that's all for my kitchen hopefully I give you some good um, organization tips on how you can do your small kitchen so yeah save those jars um check if you're looking for some jars big jars check um wall um goodwill first and then your thrift store shops and save those jars the pasta jars and the coffee jars save them because they can help you organize your stuff and that's it for now and hopefully you liked it and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and see what else i can do to my organization and on how i can do more better on my organization stuff okay all right bye